everybody's favorite rock band game of all time. The Rock Band 2 set up video made by your searcher truly Cody L15 No. This video is really absolutely a tutorial on, on, on how to set up the game and the instruments. So then you can at least rock on all day. Now first of all, what is Rock Band 2, you might ask? Well, I'm going to show you. Rock Band 2 is a 2008 music video game developed by Harmonix. It is the sequel to Rock Band and is the second title in the series. The game allows up to four players to simulate the performance of popular songs by playing with controllers modeled after musical instruments. The players can play the lead guitar, bass guitar, and drum parts to songs with instrument controllers, as well as, well as sing through a USB microphone. Players are, are scored on their ability to match scrolling musical notes while playing instruments, or by their ability to match the singer's pitch on vocals. The four instruments to look at is drums, guitar, and bass, and vocals, which which, which you you can basically connect basically you know, into into your console to, to to at least like to really to start up up playing any any of the master recordings that are absolutely in the game, which is basically really cool to know. Now, where can you find it, find like these items and the Rock Band 2 game? It's mostly like like everybody would always like mostly say in the comments. Amazon or eBay are absolutely like the websites to absolutely to really search for for, for for those items that you really really like may need Caputo in order to, to, to play your Rock Band your Rock Band 2 game. <laughs> although although I would not really recommend buying those basically from like Amazon. Because Amazon literally has has too much scammers kind of on there, which means they could sometimes like to take your money though, and they could really screw you over. <laughs> so the best choice to go with is eBay, for sure though. eBay is really is always always like that the most friendly bit page because you know that will not not ever scam you completely though, on you ever getting like whatever I need you need, especially if if it's like the the old rock band to to two, two bundles that you'll need. So, so we, so we will at least we'll be looking at some images of, of those items that you can't find on eBay. We'll start with looking guitars up first on eBay since that's what I had the most experience with before. Luckily, when you do at least like purchase the Rapian 2 bundle, basically, though, it should at least come with exactly a, a wireless Rock Band to 2 good guitar, basically, though. Which you you should be able to find in in the band in the box or, or, or once you or the bundle. But if you're looking for a second good guitar that to recommend having, I would also basically recommend that that you try to find a wired guitar. But basically, also then it would make it easier to connect and to, to at least make it e easier to use. I would highly highly recommend the Guitar Hero Explorer. Xbox 360 guitar. It's always what went wired, and, and, and you can at least just like try to find those completely on eBay, basically, which should absolutely eBay be like no, no, no problem, basically, with with many of the controls though when you order one. Luckily, the drums and my microphone will also completely still come with the same Rock Band 2 bundle you order. So yeah, no problem there. In actual Xbox 360 consoles. They can also be found be found on like eBay either. Again, no problem there. If you really like don't really feel like just using rock band guitar guitars, basically, you know, then you can try to have a second guitar, but basically you know, be a guitar your wireless guitar. I would basically recommend to either either two of the of, of each Les Paul guitar, which would be the guitar your three Les Paul and the Aerosmith Les Paul, or <laughs> The, the other option for a Guitar Hero wireless guitar that you can get that, that plays well is the Guitar Hero 5 guitar, which both can be found on eBay, just in case you're curious. Just in case that if the Guitar Hero 2 Explorer guitar that you basically order is, is really like basically like not coming with, 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 a, with a, uh, a USB breakaway cable, then th th those are definitely too cheap to buy, to buy on eBay. And before... <laughs> We really like absolutely get get into connecting basically the rock band instruments. The number one thing that I will like absolutely have to basically say to you is that if you're looking forward to, to at least getting an Xbox 360 
please, for the love of God, try to avoid use Xbox 360 LP because the, because there's there's sometimes could could be basically be like a chance, but basically where the revision of the Xbox, which is the text located at the back of the Xbox, will just would just become the too too old, basically, you know, and it would sometimes just make me make, make the game crash after like seven seconds completely though, or probably or or at least like a few seconds though before you were gonna like load up the game though. So so in order to, to make sure that it abs that it absolutely works though, make sure sure that that. It, that it is at least on an Xbox 360 console that you've like bought yourself, like like basically before though, because newer revisions are uh, will, 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 are, are are the only thing that will try to at least make, make uh, Rock Band 2 work, basically on your Xbox 360 though. If you can basically understand that and try, try to avoid getting used cheap used Xboxes and just to try trying to get the new ones though, just just to be on the safe side, then good. Now we can absolutely move on to to connecting the instruments. Before we really actually like go basically into connecting the instruments though, I will basically say is is, is that is that I should at least explain is that there are at least like four versions of Rock Band 2 that are basically available that Harmonix has absolutely released. Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Wii, and PlayStation 2. First of all, the PlayStation 2 version is really the first like version of Rock Band 2 that I would not recently recommend getting because it has no customization. No earning money in fans. It is, and I'm, well, I'm pretty sure I don't. I think it has no online play, and I know for sure that it has no Rock Band DLCs, DLCs ever for for that version. <laughs> the Wii version, <laughs> basically, that does have have earning money and fans and customization, but basically, but but there's only a few <laughs> limited, <laughs> but there are are some like limited options though that. For the customization in, for the characters in, in in the Wii version, basically though, <laughs> and, and I'm pretty sure also I don't think you can do uh, DLC songs e either for the Wii version. <laughs> the PlayStation 3 <laughs> version it it is definitely a like monitor version that that absolutely has <laughs> that absolutely that does that. that that absolutely has like more access of, of, of customization <laughs> and earning money fans. And this time, the PlayStation 3 version does absolutely like let you play <laughs> the, the DLC songs, which basically, basically, which is basically good to know. But the only thing <laughs> that <laughs> that the PlayStation 3 version like literally like does not support is at least. Um, custom songs, and luckily, the Xbox 360 version of Rock Band 2 definitely has all those features you want. Customization, customization, well, a lot more of it, actually. Being able to earn money and fans, it has lots of DLC songs, and it's easy to, to, to absolutely put, 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 put uh, custom songs completely on, on a standard Xbox 360, rather than PlayStation 3, which is basically good to basically know. <laughs> Is that the Xbox the Xbox 360 version <laughs> version is definitely a superior uh, version basically of Rock Band 2 in my opinion. <laughs> so what what would I rate the version? <laughs> All the other versions of Rock Band 2? <laughs> I say I would give the PlayStation 2 version a 3 out of 10. The Wii version basically gets a 6 out of 10. PlayStation 3 version gets a an 8 out of 10. And the, the Xbox 360 version basically get, gets a 10 out of 10, which is definitely the best of our version. So if you're looking for which platform to get for Rock Band 2, that's, I would mostly say get the Xbox 360 version because it is absolutely like, because it is like the most superior revert version, like I said, of Rock Band 2 that you can absolutely just like have fun, fun playing on basically though, and you should at least be able to get to it. <laughs> All right, now that we have absolutely gone over which versions you should get, though, now I absolutely but promise you that this time, though, now we can absolutely get into uh, doing the connecting on the Rock Band instruments. The first thing that we're going to, to really absolutely figure out is how to set up your Xbox 360. What you need is a power cable, which is this, and it's recommended to have an HDMI cable to plug right into your TV and into your Xbox as well. So first thing you do, grab the power cable and plug it 
right in the back of the Xbox to your left, completely down. <laughs> and then make sure to plug in the other end of the power cable to either a power source or in the wall. Next, you want to take your, your HDMI cable and absolutely plug one end into the 360. Make sure to check the shape of it and, and try to find the right spot. And then once you, you basically have plugged in that one end of the HDMI cable into the Xbox 360, go ahead and like plug the other end into the to TV into an HDMI um, plug-in slot. And and then and then once you once you have at least gotten all that set up, then your Xbox 360 should should be be ready to turn on. Now to absolutely start connecting the instruments, starting basically with a wire guitar. For the Explorer, it's really where you wanted to, to take your USB breakaway cable and grab and grab the, the one end basically of, of that of that other breakaway can, can cable of the of the Explorer, <laughs> and then make sure that you absolutely plug them, them, them both in though. It can only fit fit one way though. So it, so if it's not going in, you can just turn 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 the USB breakaway can cable until it goes until it plugs in. And then you want to go right in, right over to your to the USB slot on your on your Xbox 360. It's mostly recommended to, to plug it into the front so then so then it'll be easier to access access basically. And plus the cord's like not really that long anyway for the for the Explorer and the breakaway cable USB. Once it's basically con connected to your Xbox 360, just hold it, the Xbox button to, to turn turn the guitar on, and it should connect. But if you do have a wireless guitar <laughs> that you want to try to connect to your 360, there should at least be a sync button, which is the really tiny but button basically you know, on those guitars. Just hold, just make sure to hold 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 the sync sync button down <laughs> on the guitar, and while you're you're holding that sync button on the guitar. <laughs> There is a sync button on the Xbox 360 that you should hold down, hold that, that down as well. Basically, what what in order to, to at least like sync the wireless guitar into your Xbox 360. Do that, and you should be good to go. Just in case that if there are like no batteries, basically no inside of a wireless guitar controller. But you only want to want to do is at least just push the handle of the bat of the battery cover and make sure to take the battery cover off. If there are no batteries in there, then it requires at least three AA batteries to, 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 to go to go to go right right in. If you don't have any, any AA batteries, you can just you can get them at, at, at a store or you can just purchase them online. Make sure to at least like place the batteries in in, in like the right direction. No, by by looking by looking at, at at the plus and my, minus the science signs though. So then it'll at least like show you like where you you're, you're supposed to plug in those batteries. About batteries, but basically, though. No. Once the batteries are, are basically in, go in and seal the cover by by by, by at least by, by putting like the, the right side into the holes of it, and then just and then just put it down, and it's and then you should be good to go. And then after you have you have at least like replaced the down the batteries basically on the wireless controller. <laughs> If you're using the Rock Band, band controller, basically, there, there is at least a sync button on, on this guitar that you can at least like press. <laughs> All you gotta do is just press the same sync button and the sync button on your Xbox 360, and you and it should connect just fine. USB microphones are absolutely like easy to connect. All you just need need to do is just at least find an HDMI slot <laughs> on your Xbox 360 to, to use it though. Since since the cord is like really long. <laughs> Basically, open the microphone. It's recommended to plug it in the back of the Xbox, so it should be no problem there for sure, though. But basically, keep in mind is that if you're going to be doing the vocals, though, make sure that you can at least control everything in the menu by using the, a, an Xbox 360 controller. Either wired or wireless will work, though. All you have to do is at least just push the Xbox button, Xbox button on the controller to turn it on, and it should connect. If you need to, to replace the batteries, if the batteries did die, I have a guy here to show you. How to change the batteries on an Xbox 360 controller. 
See the back here? You got this little tab here. Let's push down and pull out. That reveals the batteries. Just take them out. Get some new batteries. So the way you put them in, you can see the positive side up on this one, as so. Negative side on this one. That's it. Reinstall that side up. Some of them will have a battery pack instead. If this fails to charge anymore, you may need to replace it, but same thing, just push the top in, refits, and you're done. Now, I'm going to basically have, have this guy right here ex ex tell you at least and show you how to at least set up a rock band drum, drum kit because I have no idea how to do it. You're going to have two poles, two connectors for the feet, two feet, a pedal, and a pair of drumsticks. The first thing you do to set up is you're going to take one of these poles, take the end right here, line it up, shove it down. You're going to take the second one, line the fat end up, shove that down. Then you're going to take one of the connectors, you're going to stick it inside of here, line it up, shove it in, take another one, line it up. Put it in. They have grooves on them so they only fit one way. Then you're going to take the other foot and you're going to connect that like that. Set it back down. This is adjustable. You can undo these right here and you can take it whatever height you want, lock it back. Do the same with the other side. Okay. Now you're going to take your drum set and it has openings inside of here on the back line it up with the pole on both sides put that down then you're going to take your pedal and you're going to hook that up it's got an orange tip on it right here orange ring around the tip orange there you're going to take it by the plug not the wire go ahead and connect that push it in firmly Put the pedal on the floor in front of you. The way you're supposed to really set your your cake pedal basically though on the floor is is I recommend setting it up like this. Fit it fit it basically in, in the right space of that pedal, and then you should be good to go. So it will stay in place. First, you're gonna flip your drum over. You're going to pop off the battery cover. You're gonna insert your battery's flat side against the spring. Put your battery cover back on. Then you're going to take it and align it with these holes right here on your poles on the stand. Now you're going to press the button until it lights up like that on the 360 flashing. Once you basically have at least like got that rock band drum kit <laughs> at least all set up, the sync bump button is literally like at the bottom left, <laughs> basically up the controls, <laughs> basically on the drums. Press that. And then press the sync button on your Xbox 360 and your drums should connect and be ready to play. No problem there. Just in case that if you need to reset the Xbox or another way to turn it on, it's just by, it's just at least by tapping, tapping the light and it will at least shine green and, you, and it will turn on. Now you want to at least like tap the button that is above the disc tray to open it, and if you're going to be using a disc cord, grab your Rock Band to, to, to disc, and just carefully like put, put it, line it up into the tray and put it right in, and either push them with the button or or just push the tray to close it. Now that you have absolutely gotten all that sorted out, let's finally jump right into the game and at least like show off the gameplay. So, so here you go. Let's do this. The first thing you're gonna basically see, basically, though, is you're gonna at least like see the opening, cutscene, cutscene, basically of the game, where where it's like it's probably like some sort of like Mad Max or some sort of Crash Mac, Crash. No, no, sorry, Crash Max like video. <laughs> but basically, where it's it's just it's just for four four bands, 
that are on uh, cars, cars basically. You know. And the and the reason why it's it's playing it like like this though, just be, be, be because well, there there are uh, features to go against each other, so that's the reason. So, so once you have watched the opening cutscene, basically, though, we can actually like at least get into the game. So when you finish, did watch the opening cutscene? Just pre press start on either instrument you're playing on, and if it's your first time that time basically playing, you really should a at least be able. The, the, the game will, will at least like show you what, what how how to do how to like use it. So here's the main menu though. So so let's get into it. So the first thing that we're gonna we're gonna look into, uh, first of all, pretty quick is quick play. So there's solo quick play, bank quick play, talk of war, and score duel. So basically, solo quick play quickly is just pick a song and then just pick an instrument in difficulty. Like that's literally it. And then band <laughs> and band gameplay is it <laughs> will basically allow you to <laughs> allow you or, or, or other players to, to at least like sign in in for first either with their own characters or or, or with, with the with the automatically generated <laughs> um, rock band characters, which is uh, are the pre-made characters that you can select through and just play as. <laughs> my my favorite two pre-made pre-made pre -made characters from the game. Are Penelope McQueen and Grace Williams, though. <laughs> just just because they 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 absolutely reminded me of like when I first saw them in like a rock band for sure. Though. They looked really great. So then once you, once everyone's signed in, you can just select a song and just like be good to go. In order to, to do Xbox Live gameplay, basically, you know, <laughs> it's absolutely required that you have to absolutely be signed into an Xbox Live enabled gamer. Profile with Xbox Live multiplayer privileges enabled, and make sure you're at least connected to Xbox Live, because the, because any of you know you're gonna have to like sort all that out before you before you can actually play online. <laughs> Tug of War and Score Duel are are literally basically like absolutely like. <laughs> The only two, 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 two battle features that you can absolutely go, go against, basically, though, which I'm not going to show off for probably in this video. You can at least change your game settings in the options. Gameplay settings, audio and video settings, manage data, and calibration settings. So first of all, the gameplay play settings will allow you to either play lefty mode if you're playing on guitar or bass, which means it'll like re reverse the fret buttons in case you're left-handed. And then the vocal options will... <laughs> Will basically like let like you like at least adjust the settings basically you know, of your microphone basically you know, just 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 just, so you, just you just in case if you wanted to play that well and it's like literally uh, uh, up to to you if you want to like tweak the, these audio settings in the game basically you know. Now, audio and video settings basically like do have, have like some options based on which I don't know what what, the, what those three above do, but but yeah, just audio does the same thing at least. M managing your data is is is, is where, where you can you can a, a, at least do, do something with, with 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 the characters or or your band basically, though, or you can either save or load basically. Though. So it means if you're gonna be loading it off the of storage. That's a storage device, basically. Though, the, yeah, the data that you had before did that that did not save absolutely. But before though, if just in case if you have auto save disabled, you will basically lose it though. So, so make sure that you select a storage device, basically, though, on your Xbox 360, which is memory unit, as an example, in order to to, to at least like auto save to be turned on. You could basically see here is, is that 
If you do have, have, have some characters made though, you can sort those out. Same thing for the Band-Aid. One thing I have, I really have like actually forgotten to mention is that there is the, is the calibration system. Do you have a fancy HD TV or feel like the notes aren't matching up to the music when you're playing? Over the next few screens, you're going to calibrate your television, controller, and audio system to be all synchronized with each other. <laughs> so yeah, it's really absolutely important to, to do this every time when you pick up the, the game for screen first time. <laughs> because depending on on, on on like on like how your TV it basically is though, it's really like sometimes like necessary that you have to like absolutely <laughs> calibrate the audio audio and and um, video but basically you know, to, to the to the game though so then it would be basically lined up. So you can either like change you can either calibrate it manually basically you know, just just by just by choosing the the uh, the amount of milliseconds you get, or you can just basically just do this method right? you could, that you can see on the sc screen, which is uh, which is um uh, uh, calibrating it automatically, just doing doing what what, what the game will want you to do to calibrate it, <laughs> and then now once you have calibrated the, <laughs> the lag on the on the audio, it it'll show show you like how how much it's calibrated by, <laughs> and the next thing you want to do is ca calibrate the video, it'll determine the video of it will determine the video, the amount of video latency in your system. <laughs> so basically, just push the, just so either, so make sure to either hit a drum pad, push the push the A button, or at least like strum completely. Don't depending on like which instrument you're going for, in order to to, to calibrate the video, to for for that to be lined up. And then once you have at least gotten both of them, basically out of the way, it'll say congratulations, your TV is now calibrated to play Rock Band 2. Come back at any time if you feel like your playing is out of sync with the TV. <laughs> so just in case that, that if it is getting out, out of sync basically though, later on though, you can always just, just go back and change it. <laughs> now, the extras basically has the leaderboards, credits, audition mode, and... And modifying the game basically so what we'll look into at least leaderboards and modify game <laughs> so basically the leaderboard boards are, are, are basically basically the record record scores that you basically get get basically you know, depending on like on like how well you've done and then and then modify game basically has like has like some, some sheets but basically you know, that you can't or at least some modifiers that you can basically use to really at least like make, make your playing um, experience basically a lot better. There's like no fail mode. There's like you can increase the breakneck speed by enabling that. You can unlock all the songs. There's basically a mod modifier for, for like for like selecting a venue screen and then there's a performance mode option. Also, in order to do audition mode, you you will need an Xbox 360 hard drive plugged into your Xbox. So if you don't know how to do that, there there are other tutorials, but basically out there that will teach you how and how to do that. Now, training is 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 going to basically like help you basically start like learning how, how to basically play the instruments and how to become really good good at the game and how to basically be like awesome at it to to your fans completely though. So, so tutorials will absolutely help help you learn like what instrument you need to do, which is guitar, bass, drums, or vocals. Though, and when you go into practice mode, to practice more of it, you just select the song, select your instrument, select your difficulty, and then and then you have to basically select either select a, a start section to end, it's a section basically skill to to practice on. <laughs> that you're kind of like having trouble tr with, or you can just basically just pick the the full song, <laughs> and then and then it's at least recommended to, to like slow down down the song the song the song and and, and then ma ma make sure sure that you you work your your way up to to a faster speed, but basically though, <laughs> so, so so it means just pick a song song that you're just like doing terrible at, pick pick 
take a sanction, and then practice away. Now the tour, basically in Rock Band 2, is basically your career mode. You can either you can either just choose to, to play locally, which is basically with other players that are with you, or you could just at least play online. <laughs> but but I would be basically recommend you just do, doing like like the local to tour basically though, just in case that if you don't have Xbox Live enabled yet. <laughs> Another thing I should just basically show you though, is that there are at least 84 song cells, so I will make sure to explain them all, so get ready for, 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 for me explaining them all, right? So the 84 songs are, I Have the Tiger by Survivor, My Worst Enemy by Lit, I Was Wrong by Social Distortion, So What You Want by The Beastie Boys, E-Pro by Beck, Hungry Like the Wolf by Duran Duran. Pretend We're Dead by L7. Rebel Girl by Bikini Kill. Nine in the Afternoon by Panic at the Disco. Float On by Modest Mouse. Drain You by Nirvana. PDA by Interpol. Man the Box by Alice in Chains. Cool for Cats by Squeeze. Hello There by Cheap Trick. Today by The Smashing Pumpkins. That's What You Get by Paramore. Spear in the Sky by Norman Greenbaum. We got the beat by the Go Go's. New Kid in School by the Donnas. Feel the Pain by Dinosaur Jr. Pump It Up by Elvis Costello. One Step Closer by Linkin Park. Welcome to the Neighborhood by Libyans. White Wedding by Billy Idol. Psycho Killer by The Talking Heads. Lump by the Presidents of the United States of America. Conventional Lover by Speck. Deluxe by Lush. Shooting Star by Bad Company. Give It Away by Red Hot Chili Peppers. The Middle by Jimmy Eat World. American Woman by the Guess Who. Living on the Prayer by Bon Jovi. One Way or Another by Blondie. A Jad Gorgeous Winter by the Main Drag. Go Your Own Way by Fleetwood Mac. Kids in America by the Muffs. Girls Not Grey by AFI. Lazy Eye by the Silver Sun Pickups. Come Out and Play Keep Him Separated by The Offspring. Mountain Song by Jane's Addiction. Where'd You Go by the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. 
Alex Chilton by The Replacements. Rockin' Me by the Steve Miller Band. Tingled Up in Blue by Bob Dylan. <laughs> Alive by Pearl Jam. Round and Round by Rat. You Oughta Know by Alanis Morissette. Alabama Getaway by The Grateful Dead. Testify by Rage Against the Machine. Supreme Girl by the Stearns. Pinball Wizard by the Who. Our Truth by Lacuna Coil. Uncontrollable Urge by Devo. Bad Reputation by Joan Jett. Night Lies by Bane Camaro. Any Way You Want It by Journey. Teenage Riot by Sonic Youth. Shackler's Revenge by Guns N' Roses. Let There Be Rock by ACDC. The Trees by Rush. Aqualung by Jethro Tull. Down with the Sickness by Disturbed. Chop Suey by System of a Down. Everlong by the Foo Fighters. Master Exploder by Tenacious D. Give it all by Rise Against. Carry on Wayward Son by Kansas. Rob the President by That Handsome Devil. Spoon Man by Soundgarden. Ace of Spades 08 by Motor by Motorhead. Almost Easy by Avenge Sevenfold. Ramblin' Man by the Allman Brothers Band. 
Get Clean by Anarchy Club. Peace Sells by Megadeth. Colony of Birchman by Mastodon. Souls of Black by Testament. Bodhisattva by Steely Dan. Shoulder to the Plow by Breaking Wheel. Battery by Metallica. Visions by Abnormality. Panic Attack by Dream Theater. And finally, Painkiller by Judas Priest. Now I'm going to go ahead and teach you basically how to, to basically use the instrument controllers. Here's how, how to go through the menus on the guitar. Strum up or down on the strum bar to scroll up or down the menus. Or you can use left, right, up or down on the D-pad. Green is to select and red is to hit back. Same controls for the rock band guitar, in case you're curious. To control your rock band drum set on the menus, red to hit back, green to select, and use yellow and blue to scroll up or down. There's another option basically for the menus and using the kick pedal, or you can just use the regular controls on, on the drums if you want. To control the vocals, you just need to use a regular controller for it. A to select, B to hit back, left, right, up, or down on the D-pad, or control stick. Simple. Now that we have at least like gone over everything on how to control the menus, let's finally start the tour. So if you don't have any existing bands or if you want to start a new game, just select start a band and rock the world, which is the option right above, and then make sure to choose the gamer profile on who should own the band. And you could basically see is that this is the same old login screen that you get, get from uh, the band quick play. And the first thing that you have to do first of all, before you really really absolutely like start um making your making your first band basically though the first thing you'll, you'll either have to do is 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 to either make your make your own character your first one or or try to log in as an already existing character that you already have though in order to end in order to to at least get into the game i'll choose at least a female as an example though so the first thing you can at least to do for your character is that you can you can at least just name the, the character first though you can at least name the character whatever you want though it's really up to you it's literally like basically optional for if you want to at least like change the characters basically like hometown basically though. I basically have have all, all of my band members hometown that it's at least like set to be set to New York because because New York New Orleans get it but anyway, yeah, that's that's basically the reason because it because it, it kind of sounds similar, like basically. Though. Now, now you can basically like mo modify the character's body, which is basically the weight. Which no, it's it, it's absolutely like not the, the it's it's absolutely like not 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 the weight in the stomach. Like like for sure though, don't don't really get me to like rant on that. But it's basic. It's basically like hit the the weight basically of the of of like the entire body. 
and the height of your character to make it sh to make it a short or tall. And you can choose the skin color as well, though, from from the lightest to darkest, how you like it. Now you can also modify your avatar avatar's <laughs> face, basically, you know, to like which t t type of like faces you want to go with. Like there's basically like a lot of choices though. And, and basically for, for most like unique female characters that I usually make on this game though, I always go 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 for the artsy face basically though know, because it did, did look girly at least. <laughs> now you can also link like, change the change the hair of it basically though of your avatar and you can change you can at least like, change the color of it. And there, there are, there are at least, there are only, there are at least like some options for the eye color though. So it's up to you for which one you want to go with. And and then after you edit all, edited all of that, <laughs> you can at least like set your rocker's at, at attitude to however you like it. There's rock, punk, metal, and goth. I'm sure though. If you want some sort of like normal rocker, you choose rock. If you want an angry attitude, choose punk. If you want want a tough attitude, choose metal. And if you want it want a gentle attitude, choose goth. So so create the character, log in as that character, and press start, and then you should be good to go. Now after you press start, when you do when you do start a new game though, you also sometimes have to absolutely like name your band. Because then, because because you, you can't ever have a pro progress in the actual game, basically with, with, without without choosing a band name at first. <laughs> just so just in case that if you can't can't really absolutely like to choose a a uh, band name, basically to how you want basically. All you have to do is just head back, and then click, and then just then just select the band name window again, and it will choose it. Also. The hometown town that you absolutely set, basically, for your band, well, what will, will at least they take effect of the actual band venues on, on like which order you need to go to. I, I have my main bands set up to New York completely. Though, so, so, so that basically means, so, so that basically means the band has to absolutely start in New York, and. The gigs are, are, are going to be, be, be in, in a, a, a different order, basically, of other cities that your band has to visit. <laughs> or, like, let's say, if you if you did make, make a band, and if you set it to San Francisco as an example, you, then you have to start at the venues for for uh, at at the first venue for San Francisco, and then that's absolutely like when it, it, it'll absolutely like change orders, basically. Now, if you basically, basically like see, see like this thing, basically that's like showing on the screen though. If it's, if it says that if it's not not a classy but band name basically, then that just means it's already taken by someone else that had that that had Xbox Live that did use that that band name before for Rock Band Two. So in case, so if you want to really make sure to do the do the Live World Tour, make sure that that, that it's a uh, unique band name a couple of little for that, or it won't let you in. Which I'll, I'll basically show you how, how to change the band name later. For right now, let's just focus on on like my favorite part of the game, which is absolutely the customization, which is in the rock shop. The rock shop is absolutely like the main area, basically, to, to to where you can absolutely customize your avatars slash rock band characters. <laughs> you know, so there is clothing district, ink and scissors, instruments, and and, and every bit, everything that you actually buy, basically, though, in the wrong shop will be stored in your closet. Your avatar's closet, actually. Now, you could basically to tell is is that there there's like a lot of choices for like clothing to basically go with. <laughs> and if you found found out the one you like, and if you do have enough money money to afford it, basically, you can just select it. 
and then just like either stick with the standard color that it's on or you can at least just change the color of it however you like it now keep in mind is that whenever you really like absolutely like just start making like your first avatar it will just start off with like 100 dollars at first it means you can either you can try to basically afford afford either what one or two clothing uh, clothing items and then you will and then you have to like you can get your, your band on the road to earn more money this is so then you, you can at least customize your character even more here in here here you can you can at least like see is that i went into the closet i went to the torso and changed up the existing shirt shirt that that this new character has on basically you know, to blue same thing for her for, for the shoes basically you know. there are different shoes that you can absolutely absolutely just choose to buy in in this in yeah in, in, there's even the same the, the, the deal for uh new uh tops to buy basically which is basically which is basically the clothing for your torso <laughs> now just in case that if the hairstyles basically you know in in the rocker maker really like don't appeal to you you can at least just to take the first one <laughs> that it will offer and if you want to get a had it hair later though make sure you you that you at least have more, more money first though <laughs> before before you can really before you can like basically purchase like any any of the had it hairs but basically you know, that was not absolutely eligible in the rocker maker though like like if you have absolutely seen you seen my, my character my character in character basically you know, what one of my characters, which would be Penelope May Queen, that basically that had the chair woman's get cap hair on, basically though. Know, it's it's not normally available in, in the rocker maker. It's only available in the rock shop for one sixty dollars in the game, basically. You know. And and then the only th and the only thing you can literally do, do with your avatar's eyebrows is just change the color of it. The avatar so basically, the eyebrows on your avatar will, will, will sometimes change depending on like which which uh, face you, you you chose for for that character. And, and, my, and my favorite thing about a uh, favorite thing about about the customization for for females is that there are there there are like make makeup options that you can basically go for, which is which are basically like different uh, eyelids that you can really absolutely go with though. When I basically made made like the first Grace Williams in the first place though, which is my own version, I basically went the Envy uh, eyelid, eyelid makeup, which are the green or which are the green eyelids. And, and for the lipstick, I went for Plum, which is the dark red. And fa face painting is basically the option to, to really at least like go go to basically, you know, just in case that if, if it like that does not ha have the color, like the color of, of the eyelids or lit lips makeup that you don't want. Like, well, want me, you know. <laughs> like if you wanted your character to have like yellow eyelids, but if it's not not but if but if it's like not available, you can just choose that in the face paint by using the art maker. And I and I should have like showed this earlier though, but but what you saw there was the tattoos area where you can be you can use the art maker to, to put to, to to put like different art styles on your chest or arms. I mean, sorry about that. I really should be catching up. But you could, but you could at least like see here is, is that there's like there is like a lot of options of like, of like, of like tor tor of torso of torso clothing, which is like tops, and then the pants basically you know, which are which, which sometimes they they usually call them bottoms basically you know, that that you could purchase, and for and and there are different shoes you can purchase as well though. And they do come in like many categories, depending on, on like what 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 type of genre you do want your character to be: punk, metal, goth, rock, or thrift. And there are also like accessories that you can but put on your avatar as well. <laughs> Glasses and masks, earrings, piercings, bandanas, wrists, rings, and gloves. <laughs> so you can basically see like the glasses that you can purchase for your character.
So here are the different earrings you can choose from. Here are the piercings you can choose from. Here are the different bandanas you can choose from. Here are the bracelets or wrist accessories you can choose from, like like um, basically wristbands, bracelets, and definitely gauntlets. Here are the different rings you can choose from. And here are the different gloves you can choose from. There's only like a few amount of options though, so yeah. Now this is basically the area where you can like basically like purchase like different instruments for your characters. Different guitars, different basses, different microphones, and different drum, drum sets. If you're basically customizing your avatar basically using a guitar controller, then guitar and, and guitars and basses will, will literally be available to choose. And if you're using like a regular um, controller but with a microphone plugged into your 360, then microphones will, will be available to choose for your avatar. And if you're using the dr drum kit controller, then drum sets will, will be available to choose for your avatar. Any basically though of, of the items you bought from the rock shop will always be, be, be stored right in your avatar's closet. <laughs> Which is where, where you can absolutely switch out the clothing, accessories, hair, and instruments that you own. Like, like basically, though. So it means, if you had like, had like a beginner outfit basically from before, and if you wanted to like change it up. To, to be like, I don't know, some sort of like god outfit though, then the, then yeah. That stuff will, will, will at least be stored in your closet though, for, for when, you're, when you're ready to change it. Also, any stuff that you do oscillate when in the tour will also be stored in your closet, too. In order to at least add art to basically to a t-shirt, all you have to do is just like press the button or, or basically like activate the add art art uh, feature. And you can and you can absolutely like you, you use the art maker to add to basically add in a logo, though. <laughs> There are different lit lit layers that you can absolutely just choose from, basically, you know? <laughs> so you So basically, you just pick a layer, and then you color it a different way, or you could just lit leave it as, as the color it is, and then you can just, like, trans transform it, basically, you know? Like, basically, you, know, you can definitely, like, modify it to, to your liking. The Bamper profile will let you set the summary, the roster, the stats, and the battle history of Basically, though. Well, let you view the stats and the battle history, I meant to say. So, summary is basically where you can at least en enter in your band's a quote, which is basically like your band's like the favorite for phrase, basically, though. They can absolutely like to, 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 to teach like any blah 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 how, how, how to absolutely like have a better life completely, though. So basically, for for like my, my bands, look, look, bands um quotes, but basically, you know, but as I did before, I did never giving up, never giving up, basically, you know, because yeah, that's definitely that's definitely like definitely like my catchphrase kind of. In the case that that if you don't like the like the band name or if you want want to try to really get into the Xbox Live World Tour, 
and if you enter the wrong name that won't allow it, you can always change it there. And right to the left of the summary is the logo, is the uh, band logo, where you can absolutely use the art art maker to absolutely like make the logo for your band. There are instructions basically on the left that they'll teach you at least like how to absolutely like use it though. But I will, I might as well show you this to you. So yeah, there are absolutely like different layers to, layers to choose from. Like there's, there's many like categories though. <laughs> so, so so if you so you basically <laughs> want want to make make like a solid um, background basically you know, for the logo basically you know, <laughs> then you want to think then solids might might be might be the one for you. <laughs> so you could basically see here see here is that I modify find 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 the sticker but basically you know, as scaling it. So you can basically like mo mo modify the layers that they, that you basically select though. On that. And you can select in the layer, add a new one, copy it, and you can reorder the layers, and you can delete them too. See, so, so transporting it is moving, rotating, scaling, coloring, warping, flipping, and changing the, the, the art to, to, to get it the perfect angle. And then once you're basically like happy with, with the design, basically, you know, just click fin, just select finish, and and then it'll ask you if you want to save discard the changes or can't or just like cancel like back, back back to the to the to the art maker to continue when you added one layer then you can at least you can at least select select new to add a new layer or if you or if you want, want to do another layer that's like the same layout but if you want to change it a bit then yeah just you can just kind of copy that and then just transform it a bit and you can at least just do, do the same <laughs> Basically, you know, for the other layers, though. So because of that, that's absolutely like how I absolutely like made this logo, basically, you know, for the Night Stars. I just basically just keep copying this the same layer that I did before, change the color of it, and then make sure to shrink it to, 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 just to make sure that it fits well. And then there, that's basically how you set up the summary. Just in case that that if, if you made a mistake, basically you know, on like creating the characters and to recreate it, or if you really like don't don't like the character at all, or if you want to just like just delete some characters to free up some space, just go to the character to data basically you know, in the options, basically you know, and you should at least be able to like delete it. You can re rename them too if you don't want like like how you named it. Okay. Now. Now for the now for the roster section. <laughs> now, if you did absolutely like make four characters out, then you can you can at least like just in insert them them into these slots as stand-ins, which who play with you uh, with you basically you know, automatically in the game when map when there are other band members are absent. <laughs> so it means when, once you have inserted them all in, into like into the, the right instrument to, to have them play. Then you, you would at least be able to play with your own band instead of just your own character and some rock, some random rock band characters like, like they usually do. One thing I actually I forgot to mention is that the guitars, basses, microphones, and drum sets basically you know, for your app for your rock band characters, you can absolutely you know, like, like change the color of all those instruments. And you can absolutely like add art designs basically you know, to your guitars, your basses, and your vocals, except for drums though. Since since the band logo basically already go goes like right on, on onto that. You can literally like also do the same customization 
options that I have showed you on males, though. Except sometimes some of the options that for males will, will basically be different base hill. But yeah, the customization is like like literally like the same the same thing you can do on males, except that there there is like facial hair to, to choose for males. But basically here you can at least like you can at least like see like all these options though that you can absolutely choose for uh, females. So I'll let you guys see see all of this then without me talking. You could at least like see here is that there there, there are these are, are basically the different type of uh, facial hair you could choose for males. Once you have at least gotten everything like sorted out, then go go ahead and select the start tour button. <laughs> now the first thing you'll see is when you select it is you'll say, congratulations, your band has been offered a gig at heebie-jeebies or the first event venue of a different city that you picked, depending on what hometown you sent your band to. Welcome to the wonderful world of touring. 
Taking your band on tour means travel, excitement, and constant, non-stop, ever-present drama. Have fun. Pick a set list to play. When your band at least like starts the tour, but basically for the first time, though, you basically have have like four song songs that you could start off with, with as gigs, and then you basically have like some sort of multiple song gigs, though. Just keep gigging over and over again, though, and 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 your band will absolutely start growing with Biscuito to become fa to becoming famous. Now, now, now remember, you can definitely like play in any any of these world tours in any difficulty, in any in any and in any instrument. So, so let's go over guitar first. So. So what you basically see on the on the screen basically though is the fret buttons basically at the bottom, and you basically you you use those those and the and the strum bar if you see any the colored notes coming at you. If you see a green note, hit, hit, then use the green fret button and strum that. And if you see a, a red note, use the red fret button. If you see a yellow note, use the yellow fret button. Blue note, use the blue fret button, and an orange note, use the orange fret button. And, and and out of any of the other of the other buttons you press you press though make sure make sure to, to, to hold down that down that magic button button or at least press it and then you strum that 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 note with the with the guitar strum bar. We'll start off explaining the easy guitar first. So what you basically do is you could basically see on the screen you basically just ma match the current note notes that are on the screen and make sure that you use the matching fret buttons to to play them. If you don't strum those notes, you're gonna miss it, like you saw there. Now, what you're about to see is basically a long note. You basically just hold it down, that 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 fret fret button, basically, when you strum it first, and then make sure to hold it down for the note's entire length. If you let go too soon, you'll you'll hear the note cut off. Now let's take a look at medium guitar. <laughs> now, first of all, medium guitar is a little hard and easy. Basically, when you start playing medium guitar, you, you, you're gonna you're gonna basically see more green, red, and yellow notes, and this is the difficulty to where blue notes will absolutely start showing up as the highest pitch. And you can also see when you play medium guitar though, chords will will also start showing up basically though. <laughs> In order to, to at least hit those good chords, all you have to do is just hold is just at least just hold down or press like the matching fret buttons of the, of the of that chord and then just and strum it as usual. <laughs> like if you see like a green and a red red um, power chord, all you have to do is just press those fret buttons at the same time, then just strum it. Now sometimes if there are switch switching chords, like like green and red to green and yellow. All you have to do is just it's just while you're holding down the green, let go of the red of the red, and then press and hold the yellow. Do and make sure to do the same for the higher frets. Now for hard guitar, hard guitar is is going to have notes that are a little faster than the medium basically. And and what you're about to see is orange notes will start to show up basically, and wider chords are going to start showing up, and a lot and more hammer-ons and pull-offs are going to absolutely like. Are gonna basically like start showing up. <laughs> if you can't really remember how to at least hit the orange fret button, though, the tip is sh shift your hand. <laughs> basically, you know, that is, that is just laying on like the four the first four fret buttons, and then make and then make make sure to absolutely like shift it right over to the right until your pinky is at least on the orange. Press the, press that that orange with your pinky, and then you can just hit it easily. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show off the hardest difficulty in the game, Expert Guitar. <laughs> now, what you, now, you basically see here is that Expert is, is, basically, is basically, basically playing the, the original notes that are absolutely like map maps to, 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 to the entire song, basically. Though. And Expert is, like literally, is, is basically like literally where you're going to have to really like start practicing music. You know? The only two tips that I can basically give you basically you know, to try to learn on, on playing Expert is is at least getting the fast hammer-ons and pull-offs or alt strumming basically. You know? so, we'll, so we'll go over and just like discuss like pull-offs first. I mean, no, not that. Hammer-ons and pull-offs first. 
Now, examples of the hammer rounds and pull offs you're going to basically see is basically how you're going to end them. Strum the first note, and then make, make sure sure to uh, press the rest of those no those notes by using the fret buttons without strumming. So yeah, simple to figure out sometimes. So it's very really important that you have to practice that. Now the all strumming is basically just up and down just strumming basically while well, you're basically all holding down the, these certain fret buttons basically. Sometimes it's basically that difficult to sometimes do that but when you're basically sometimes switching fret still. And there are like some sometimes gaps that you might have to sometimes stop all strumming for, for a tiny bit before you can start all strumming fast again. Sometimes you have to all strum like fast or slow but basically depending on, on like the speed of the of the all strumming notes basically. Just so basically, though, just keep practicing that, and you'll get it in no time. All right. So 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 now for this, when you basically first at least like start Rock Band Two, you will have to at least play the easier songs basically though at first though, which really should should be too much of a problem if you if you get enough practice. But then once you at least get further basically in the tour though, then you're gonna to have to really start playing the harder songs like this one as an example basically though, which will mean faster notes, a lot more hand rounds and pull-offs, and there's going to be like faster all, all strumming note notes, basically though, and weird combinations of like, of like chords to sometimes hit though, so, <laughs> good luck with that though, because because once you get, get up to that point though, it's going to be really tough, and you're going to have to start practicing things over and over, and then once you at least like put in like enough practice basically though, to, to play guitar though, you might be able to score like some like 100 per percent space you know and that can be like really really good basically though because the more because the more the more notes you hit the more stars that, that you basically earn now and the more stars you absolutely earn now then yeah the more greater rewards you get how do you get more, more points you basically ask <laughs> well the more note notes that you basically hit the more the more the multiplier will go up and you could basically see here is that you sometimes might, might may have to hit some start some overdrive phrases, which are the white glowing notes. Which means if, if you hit every single note in the, a glowing phrase, basically, you know, then that that kind of overdrive energy will be at least applied right into your overdrive drive meter. <laughs> so it means once you at least collect enough overdrive drive energy by either hitting two star power no two two overdrive phrases or or basically by Whammying like some some of like the long long notes basically though to, to, to get more overdrive basically though Then that's when it'll allow you to, to at least activate the overdrive drive basically though, to at least help you Like at least can get, get get more overdrive when you need it, it And again the more you that you basically, you basically score though the better you do the bit basically you know at like and like five starring any song basically though Especially when it's required that you will need a lot of stars to, 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 to unlock further gigs. So you can basically see like right here is it, there, there there is a long note right here that I, that was weighing me basically though, and then you, you have to sometimes won't weigh me though those long notes that are affected by overdrive raises in order to get more overdrive energy. Once you've collected enough overdrive energy, then either hit the slump button on your guitar. Or tilt the guitar to activate the overdrive. When you do activate the overdrive, it'll double the multiplier of wherever you have it on. Like if you have a times four multiplier and use overdrive, it can go up to times eight. But, but then when the overdrive drains all the way down, the crowd settles down. So make sure to use it wisely for points or if you're failing from a song. I forgot to mention about the hammer and boss is that if you do miss any of those, you have to strum it again. The last major I'll basically show off on guitar is big rock endings, basically, which means you can absolutely like. You can like shred it all crazy all you want. <laughs> if you're using the rock band guitar, basically, you, know, you can just use use the, the solo buttons <laughs> to, to, to use to, to play those freestyle notes to score more points. But keep in mind is that you do have to hit every every final note in it because then if you miss any of them, then you won't get it. If you're if you're using the guitar your guitar for the big rock innings though, you, you probably will, will will need to make sure to like absolutely use use this method with just like just just fretting and strumming like crazy. I guess one, one last thing, thing I definitely have like forgotten to mention though is that there are actually some solos basically you know, if, if it's on a basically any blue spot in a highway basically you know, what you'll basically see is a score is a solo percentage basically you know, 
and the solar percentage will at least then tell will show you like how, how well you're playing the solo basically. Yeah. And another good thing is if you're using the rock band guitar, you basically know that you can absolutely just use use the solo of our fret buttons to play those notes without strumming. And whenever you you basically get through the solo, you, you'll basically get a score bonus off of it. Now to explain bass. The bass on Hulele has the same same controls basically you know, as the guitar, except that there are actually a few differences basically. You know. There's a time six multiplier, which also means yes, if you do use overdrive on bass, it, it will it will go up to time it will go up to times twelve. And the reason why it's at times six basically, you no, know, just just because the because well the bass is literally like too easy basically. You know. <laughs> and if you get the multiplier up to times five, it'll basically to turn basically into a bass group, group which means. <laughs> There will be, be like graphics basically you know, on that. See in this example right here? When, when I activate overdrive on bass, it can go up to times 12. Also, when you do at least like start playing Rock Band 2 on bass in the first place, you'll have to start playing the easy, easier songs on bass in the first place, but then you, you'll have to get to the harder ones pretty you know. basically. So like I, like I just said for guitar, good luck for, for practicing that, that because it will, will take you a lot of time. If you basically score like really well, well enough, you might be able to get, get some 100% runs, like right here. Now to go over the drums. Now the drums are, have basically have like four pad -pad pads basically to use: red, yellow, blue, and green. And the orange lines that you basically see right on the screen are the kick drum drum notes. <laughs> the way you're supposed to be like up on playing the drums, but basically. You know, <laughs> is that is that you do have to alternate using <laughs> using like the drum pads and the kick pedal at the same at the time basically in order to, to basically uh, play well though the drums is definitely like the most difficult instrument to basically learn though but because of, because of two things that you have to focus on with your body instead of your hands only so similar deal here if you can get enough overdrive raises you can activate the, the overdrive at least on drums but how do you do it well, this time, instead of tilting or pressing the select button this time, this time, you have drum fills that you have to, like, play through, and then there is a green note note at the end, like you saw there, that you have to absolutely hit, basically, though, in order to, to activate the overdrive. And the multiplier is literally the same as the guitar, basically, though. It, the highest it can go up to is time 4. When you use overdrive, it can go up to times 8. One more thing I forgot to basically mention, basically, though. <laughs> Sometimes there are sometimes no, no, th th notes that you might ha have to sometimes try to hit with one hand and two hands, basically, though, using your drumsticks, basically, though. Now, just like I basically said with guitar and bass, though, when you play the drums first time in Rock Band 2, you, 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 will, you will be able to play the easy songs, at least at first. But then once you get further in the game, you, you have, like, harder songs that you have to, like, try, try to play, though. And yeah. Massively good luck with, with that basically because the drums are a lot more hard, harder to basically experience basically you no know, un, 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 Unless that if you absolutely like have a body that can, that can basically like draw drum That that accurately and fast but basically though know. Another thing that I shouldn't like basically tell you is that there are like, like different difficulties basically for, for the instruments though <laughs> But the only thing that I can be basically like only to tell you basically you know, about the difficulties <laughs> Basically, though, for like our drums, basically, you know, is that, is that they will sometimes have like some have like gaps, but gaps basically, you know, between the notes, but basically, though, and like the kick or the drum notes to at least make things easier, though. So it means if you're playing on on easy drums, you they will at least be a little slow and a little bit closer to basically re reach, basically, you know. But yeah, all four colors will, will still show up, basically, on any difficulty, though. There's, there's just not not going to be like too, too many no notes. <laughs> notes there if you decide to, to play to play on the lower difficulty though so that's the only thing i get to tell you about the lower difficulties basically though, uh, on the drums though the easiest the easiest that, that you play the, the drums on which is on easy difficulty <laughs> that there will be, be, least, be at least like at least um the easiest drum, drum, drum notes with, with uh, less kick pedals and expert is is like it is absolutely like matt matt does it to, to the original um drum drum drum, drum track basically though during the song though so yeah that's that, that's all i can definitely tell you basically though about about the difficulties for drums though so yeah good luck for practicing that just like on guitar and bass the drums also have have big rock endings as well which means just yeah just 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 drum drum the pads and the use the kick like crazy though and don't miss any of the final notes and you'll get the bonus oh, the last thing i'll basically say basically about the drums is if you at least play well enough 
you'll definitely score like a really good run. One instrument left to discuss, and it is the vocals. The vocals are are, are basically kind of like are basically like a karaoke basically. There are like vocal notes as well as uh, vocal lyrics, but basically that you basically have to have to like sing sing your your way through, but by by using the the rock band microphone, like in this example right here. That's basically the example of the vocals I was definitely talking about, basically, though. In order to score better points, basically, you, know, you basically have a, a streak meter, basically, you know, and at least, and at least the multiplier next to the streak meter, which means if you absolutely can get the streak meter, which is the circle, basically, you know, all, to be full, basically, you know, it'll, then, then it'll, it'll be an awesome ring, basically, you know, and, and it will absolutely, like, count that, basically, you know, for when you get a multiplier, basically, you know. Now, in order to basically to score like higher points on vocals, though, you'll see you'll see a phrase is glowing gold, which basically means that it is an overdrive phrase. If you get an awesome rain, rain basically you know, on those four phrases, it will extract that, that that energy right into your overdrive meter, though. So you can basically see here is I'm basically trying to hit that that phrase flawlessly, though, when it, and then it counted it. Once you have absolutely got enough like overdrive track phrases, you can activate the overdrive by doing this. Woo! Yeah. You could basically see is when is what I basically did there is make a random sound basically though know, in like the microphone, <laughs> like at least loud enough, uh, right right close to the microphone, and it will absolutely work just fine. The last bit feature to basically show is basically the, the percussion notes, which you, you can basically just whack your hand, like basically right on the top, top of the microphone, and basically and basically just play it, basically it'll look like a tambourine. Sometimes percussion notes are usually for, for like tambourine notes, hand claps, and cowbell notes, basically. So basically, hitting the, these percussion notes. Are basically optional. They're only that they're there to, to, to basically score points. So that basically basically means means is that if you want to try to maybe sing and play an instrument at the same time, you can still at least like skip those, those, those sections since since well they don't really count as a hundred percent and basically you know, during the vocals help. But 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 if you do at least hit enough uh, percussion notes or hit all of them basically you will get a score bonus out of it. Now, if you do at least decide to start playing Rock Band 2, basically you know, on vocals, again, easy songs first, and in the future, the harder songs after. The harder songs, basically, you know, on vocals are, are basically like higher pitched notes and faster lyrics. So, yeah, good luck with that for the fourth time. The last thing <laughs> to basically say is that if you do ever reach a Bing Rock ending, basically, you know, basically on the vocals, though, you won't really get to <laughs> score any point. <laughs> Any, any but points, whether regardless if you're playing vocals as a whole band or solo vocals, completely though. <laughs> so it means sing with whatever you basically feel like, or if you're on vocal vocals with a full, full band, basically, you know, then you can still still activate the overdrive drive at least during the, the big rock ending, basically, you know, and it will help the other, the other team score score the higher points on the big rock ending. So yeah, that's basically all I could tell you, basically, you know, about the vocals though. If you sing well enough, you'll be able to be able to get a good score on it, even for the same for the harder songs. I want to basically like first to show you what the difference is between the different difficulties for vocals. Though. So let's say that if you're basically playing on easy, but basically, you, know, you will be you, then you'll basically see that the notes are, are are basically like the thickest that there basically could be. And when you're basically like about to see right here is talkies basically, you know? <laughs> which which means you you can you can, you can absolutely just, just just you can absolutely just hit those ten talkies basically at any bit of pitch you want though just, just as long as it recognizes it. So yeah, so, so yeah, see see the easy vocal notes <laughs> when they're that thick. That's how you how you get to tell that it will will make it a lot easier to sing that.
Now I'll show you a harder the difficulty for vocal zone. You can basically see here is that these vocal notes are basically the thinnest, which means one mistake and you will not get the awesome rating. Now that we got the instruments out of the way, now we can finally go over the progress for the world tour in Rock Band 2. Two things to like literally show off first of all. The score basically you know, on the top right is is basically the amount of note note notes you hit, which will give you points. The more notes you hit, the more the points will pile up. Now I'm gonna basically like to talk about this guy basically on the left. It is the crowd meter. It measures how well you're playing and it tells you what the crowd thinks of you. If you're playing all right, the meter will be in the yellow center. When you really start hitting notes, the meter will move to the green. Or if you keep messing up, the meter will drop down into the red. But watch out, the meter and the highway will blink red as a warning that you're about to fail the song and get kicked off the stage. Which basically means, in order to, to, to sometimes avoid failing, baby skill, it's sometimes more recommended that you really should just try to sometimes save your overdrive for score or for some some sections that you're that you're that you're afraid to, to fail on. But if you really do actually fail out of the song, basically, it will disable everything that is like on the screen for a few for a couple seconds, and then you'll see the see that the crowd is gonna start booing at, at your band, just think just thinking that they just suck at playing basically. You know? But if you if you do fail the song note, you can just repeat it and do it again. <laughs> or if you're basically playing with somebody, <laughs> or or with like three other people, and if, if somebody at least fails right around the song, <laughs> and if you do have enough overdrive energy to save them, basically though, and if you can do it just in time, <laughs> then it will absolutely bring <laughs> the band member that has like failed out and and get to get them like right right back in to continue playing. <laughs> but but if, but if, but. But if they, if they fail too many times, or if you're not able to get in time, then the whole band will fail the song, and then we'll have to restart it again. Now, let's definitely go over the basics of the world tour in Rock Band 2, which would be starting it, and then figuring out the progress of it to beat the game. When you're basically starting the game, you won't make too much money or fans in the first place. But then, once you do get further in the game, you'll earn a lot more money and fan fans then. Even doing opportunities will, will, will sometimes help you earn more cash and fans, basically. It's up to you if you want, want to accept the opportunity or not. And then if you do complete the opportunity, you will be rewarded with it. But the first thing that you need to do is make sure, sure that, that you earn enough stars in your band's hometown, no matter which one you pick first, to unlock the Battle of the Vans gig <laughs> in order to at least earn, earn a mini fan. To, to, in, but in order to complete that, you have to, you have to complete two random songs and today by the smashing smashing pumpkins, and then once you do complete it, then you should be able to have have access to hire a, a staff, and the first to the two staff members will absolutely be available to hire when, once you get enough stars. Same thing for for the higher ones. Once you earn enough special items and stars, though, the staff can can absolutely help you earn more money and fans though. You just you, but you can only hire one at a time. Next, after you've earned the minivan, you're going to get to the next city and earn enough stars in the next city to unlock the bus or bust competition. The songs are two random songs and living on a prayer. And once you've earned the tour bus from that gig, you'll unlock six more staff members that, 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 that will in, in, increase increase your, your chances for your rewards to be earned a little higher. And sometimes there are like um, city... Um, promoters to be basically as well, which I wouldn't recommend using it anyway. Next, after earning the tour bus, you want to earn enough stars in the next city to unlock the merch search showcase, which will earn you a merch girl, which is which is really the next special item you need for your band. <laughs> you, it's two random songs and then a live by Pearl Jam that you'll have to play. Complete that, and you'll and you'll get the merch girl. Next, after you earn the merch girl. You want to earn enough stars in the next city to unlock the No Pay No Plane Challenge, which will earn you an Airliner 744 plane. The songs here are two random songs and Pinball Wizard by The Who. <laughs> and when you have earned that plane, you'll get five new staff members that will give the highest increase of rewards. Next, after earning the plane, then you need to get a road crew. Earn enough stars in the next city, and you'll earn the Roadie Rockathon gig. 
Three random songs and let it be rock is what you need to complete to get a road crew. That's it. Now after the road crew, you earn enough stars in the next city to unlock the NAAM convention, which will earn you a sound guy. I don't know why it's a sound guy for some reason. This time, it's different. Three, three, three random songs and then Everlong by the Foo Fires is what you need to complete. Finish that gig and you'll earn the sound guy in no time. Then earn enough, earn enough stars in the next city to unlock the global promotion showcase to get a worldwide pr promoter to, to take you to the huge arenas. So there are five songs now you have to do. Four, four random songs and then Carry On Wayward Son by Kansas. Finish this gig and you'll get the worldwide promoter. Next thing to do is head over to the city Shanghai then go to the Shangli Stadium to do the gig the Rolling Stone Rocky Mortals Challenge, which is 8 songs this time for this gig. Complete that and you'll be able to deal to join that list and at least finish the story a bit. Living on the Prayer, Pinball Wizard, Any Way You Want It, Let It Be Rock, Everlong, Carry On Wayward Son, Battery, and Painkiller. Finish those 8 and then you'll finish that, that gig in no time. Now basically for this last and final gig that has the biggest reward, which is the legendary status basically though. You're gonna really hate hate this gig, but but you're gonna have to absolutely complete it once if you want this reward. <laughs> this is the endless scentless two, all 80 for four songs in one entire gig that you have half to complete, <laughs> which will take six to seven hours to literally like to literally like absolutely complete. <laughs> like I know, I know, it really just sounds ridiculous <laughs> to, to, that you're that you have to absolutely have to play the throw that. <laughs> But you, but you can still, is still at least like to take, take, take like some some small breaks just by pausing on the endless set list to to at least eat, and then you can just get back to it though. But just but just, but you're just gonna have to trust me. It's really important to do it, basically. You know, but the tip I will give you is try to do it on the day offs, so and then you'll have more time. But sometimes you're not gonna have have the endless set list. Sometimes unlocked like right away, unless if you. Join the Rolling Stones Rocky Motors list by completing that gig and making sure that you earn at least enough stars, which is 900 stars total required, in order to, to unlock this gig. And you'll need at least 468,000 fans, which shouldn't be too hard to earn. What kind of legendary status you get for you ask for completing this gig? Well, if you finish it on medium, your badge will, will, will basically be upgraded depending on like what difficulty you finished it on. <laughs> if you finish the endless scent list at least on medium base scale, it'll be upgraded to, 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 to a badge that is that is actually a vinyl badge. White background, black filling. <laughs> if you finish the endless scent list on hard, your icon will be upgraded to a gold badge. And your icon will be upgraded to a platinum badge if you finish the gig on expert. And then after you have done all that, then that is that is basically the official end, basically of the world tour. <laughs> but however, this video is at least almost done. There's only, there's, there's at least two more th things to at least show off in in this game before before I end the video. <laughs> now, the last thing that I'm gonna basically show off basically in the menu is the music store, <laughs> which this is basically basically where where you can absolutely. Like, Go right into the Rock Band Music Store to either purchase more DLC songs to, to add into Rock into your Rock Band game, and there's another option for Rock Band Network, which is sadly shut down, so I can't really explain it. Sorry, <laughs> but but I can but it, but but the Music Store is at least still open, so so, so at least I, I can still exp explain what, what what that would do at least anyway though. <laughs> when you do when go at least go into the Rock Band <laughs> Music Store. <laughs> Just only basically like connect basically you know, into that store, <laughs> and when you basically look look up the, the new releases, packs, albums, and basically songs, it basically you know, like you're not gonna absolutely b b believe it. <laughs> basically, you know, whenever you're you're like searching out some songs, basically you, know, you absolutely, absolutely will be. Be able to at least see that there's so 
there's so many songs, <laughs> right? In, 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 basically, right in, in that rock band music store, basically, you know, that has many different choices of songs from like many artists, basically. You know, there's over 1,400 songs, songs that they were released as DLC, basically, you know, <laughs> completely like, like right in this game, basically. You know, it's really crazy, isn't it? <laughs> So at least there's like one or two or maybe a few of them <laughs> that were absolutely free basically though. You could basically see here is that there's only one DLC song that I do ever own. And it's the one the one that I have like bought b b b bought basically though. Which was Seasonal Sanctuary by by the by the Colt. And I bought it basically though, because well because well my dad absolutely loves the song. <laughs> basically anyway though. And in he would want would, would absolutely like want want to like hear hear me play it or maybe try to play it this go. So that's basically what I did. I per, I did per purchase it just, just for him. <laughs> now if you now if you really do like look over the place, there are like, you could see here there are like many different choices of songs that you can can absolutely pay 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 pay, pay for pay for for at least like one to two dollars. So yeah, really good cool, really good cool. cool cold to absolutely have that have like that much DLC that you could purchase though if you if you're not if you're not if you're not gonna use your money on anything else, right? Of course. One last thing that did to really basically show off is Rock Band Customs, which is basically like my, my favorite thing to be to, to basically like but put basically in a rock band game basically. So basically Custom so rock band and custom songs are are, are basically taking any track that you want <laughs> that is that is sometimes like usually like not not available <laughs> basically in either the exports or the DLC store and then you could at least just <laughs> and then you could and you could basically like you, you, you use your computer lo lo logic <laughs> logic in in your in skills but skills basically you know, to really like at least like make, make, make a, a custom song but basically you know, out of any song you want even you, you can even record your, like, your very own track but basically though know, and then you can at least make that into a playable rock band rock band song but basically if you want to know how, how to basically make rock band custom songs I have a I already got a a tutorial a playlist basically you know, on, on my channel that'll teach you basically how to do it which I will put a link link to that playlist the playlist basically in the description but there is one, one thing that you are going to really need to own basically first though before you can really get any before you start playing customs and is and of course it is the it is at least a flash drive that is compatible with to run on the PC and Xbox 360. Uh, the flash drive that I would basically like recommend like using is the Ultra SanDisk 2.0 uh, flash drive, which is basically the one <laughs> I basically use. But, <laughs> but I remember, but but however, I would really basically like recommend getting getting like 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 a flash drive that at least has like a large amount of storage, like like 30 to 2 gigabytes is at least recommended. If you can find find, 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 find the flash drive that's literally like the same mono, but but if it has like more storage in it, then good. You, you you'll be able to you'll be able to fit in more 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 more, more good custom songs, and you'll be able to fit as many of them on there as you want. Of course, those flash drives are basically easy to find on eBay, though. No problem there. I'll basically will put in all, all the required links to, to, to the websites to visit, basically though, in the description. <laughs> And then what? And, and then once you have, have at least got everything like memorized, basically, you know, from this video, then you're absolutely like ready to go. Though, go out there, get that rock band too, bump on the though, start making some progress, a progress on it, and have fun. It completely though. So, so yeah, that absolutely like does it now. Now for this video though, if you really like this video, please like, comment, or subscribe if you're new. And, and make sure to basically like a click the bell to get notifications for when I upload a video. If you really have absolutely like gotten any other good questions, basically though, about setting up your Rock Band, Band, Band 2 game, ask me basically in the comments, or 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 at least just like let me not know basically in the comments if this setup video has absolutely helped you basically you know, set up your your, your Rock Band 2 game basically. Though. So I will see you in the next video, though, which will definitely be be I will be being like continuing 
my uh, Sonic Adventure 202 2 bad battle, but but, but play through play through net next basically you know, once this video will, will, will be released. So anyways, so anyways, I'll see you right in the next video, and I'll even see you back back in Sonic Adventure 2 battle for real this time. Cody 15 out. Peace.